Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remaining of the month of March 2021 in regards to love and romance. Okay, that's too many cards. How are you doing Sagittarius? I hope you guys are doing good. How's the weather treating you guys? been crazy over here it's hot one day and it is freezing the next day the hell is going on right all right saggies let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance for the remaining of march 2021 okay now your first card here is the five of swords five of swords could represent arguments it is very connected to pride it is about uh trying to one-up each other. Your next card here is the Princess of Cups. So there is emotion. There are feelings involved. For some of you guys, pride may be in your way in regards to expressing or communicating. Your next card here is the Eight of Wands. So I do see communication. Seven of Swords here. Okay, someone's not being completely honest or transparent. We have the Princess of Wands. A lot of communication going on, Sagittarius. Or you will be experiencing a lot of communication. Next card here is the Four of Wands. Six of Wands. Victory here. Hmm. This is interesting. Five of Pentacles. So we have two fives here. Your card, Temperance. The Seven of Wands. All right, Sagis. Well, so right at the center, we have the Four of Wands. This could represent the partnership that you're currently on or the commitment that you are in. Um, it could also represent the desire to want to manifest some type of commitment here. Now, I do see the Five of Swords here, and the Five of Swords does represent, again, like I said, um, petty arguments, um, fights. Um, I feel that you may be currently dealing with a lot of arguments within your relationship. You guys are not communicating the way you should. I feel that a lot has been done in this relationship. So when I say a lot has been done, I feel like you guys have really been tested or you've been through a lot in this relationship, and that could be the reason why you're holding on to this connection. Uh, however, someone in this connection is not being completely honest or transparent. And I feel that this person may have their eyes um, on someone else. And the reason I say that is because someone in this connection is ready to walk away from a connection or a relationship that has been very toxic in the past. Um, now, for some of you guys, you may be um, wanting to expand, wanting to step out of the relationship and see what's out there. I feel like you're at a crossing point right now, uh, crossroads, uh, Sagittarius, where there is an understanding that you need to make a change in your life, and it has a lot to do with the people you surround yourself with, starting with your partner. And I feel that for some of you guys, you guys are ready to um, step away from that, or you're ready to communicate and be open and cut, to, cut through the bullshit or cut the bullshit out and be completely honest and transparent. The reason why I say that I feel like you guys have your eye on someone is because we do have here the four of uh, wands uh, with the princess of wands and the six of wands. So that is a very confident person. That is a very confident energy. This is a like an energy where you're certain what it is that you need to do and you're moving forward being honest and transparent about things that perhaps you haven't even been honest with yourself about. Um, and you're walking away or someone's walking away from this connection here with the five of pentacles because you're trying to go towards balance. You're trying to go towards stability. And there is healing that's happening right now, but it is also timing. So I feel like someone was waiting here with the five of pentacles they were waiting for the perfect time to walk away or for the for, uh, perfect time to bring an ending to some type of karmic um, or toxic relationship. 
uh, because they're trying to go towards more balance. They're trying to go towards um, healing. It's like you're you're done dealing with toxic energy or they're done dealing with your toxic traits. It could be vice versa, Sagittarius. It is a general reading. But with the seven of wands here, this is you being empowered. This is you saying, I know exactly what it is that I want. And yes, it may come at the expense of uh, perhaps even losing a certain type of stability that you connect with. It could be that um, either they rely on you or you rely on them, whether it be financially, whether it be uh, just because it's comfortable, because you don't want to start all over, whatever the situation is, someone here is making the decision here with the five of pentacles and the and the seven of wands to stand their ground and to walk away to and it's not really like giving up it's like i know what it is that i want at this present time and the stability that i need or the stability that my soul is seeking and is needing it needs to be at peace i see a lot of chaos around you and this could be the people that you surround yourself with this could be your partner this could be the people that your partner hangs out with whatever the situation is, but it's like you're over it. And I feel like you're taking your power back and you're walking in power. You're walking in certainty. Even if in the past there was a lot of fears connected to this, there was fears of walking away. There was fears of, you know, what if things are not going to go better for me, etc. But I definitely see you coming to the understanding and it's almost like the universe is pushing you to make those changes, to have a better life. With the Six of Wands, that's victory right there. That is, yes, we will lead you and we will push you towards the stability that your soul is craving or that your soul is needing, but you have to, it comes at the price of you having to walk away from toxic energies, from toxic behaviors. Um, this could be you giving up on certain things. It could be you giving up on... I don't know, partying too much, drinking too much, whatever the situation is. But I feel that right at the center with the Four of Wands, I feel someone has inspired this in you, Sagittarius. If you haven't experienced this as of yet, keep in mind, um, a lot of the times I see comments in the comment section of people saying, well, um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't uh, connect with me or it doesn't resonate. Keep in mind that tarot reading, real tarot reading may not speak about the past may not speak about what's going on right now but it is foretelling what may come based on the actions that we take so again if it doesn't resonate now it may resonate in the beginning of april so just keep that in mind um however i do see you getting to the point of understanding you know what um a lot of the decisions a lot of the choices that I've made in the past uh, have not been ideal or the partners that I've been dealing with have not been ideal. Now I know who I am. You're coming into your own. You're coming into your power, Sagittarius, and you're making things happen. And that is a very positive thing, even if it comes at the expense of walking away as an example from a marriage, uh, from a commitment, someone that you've been with for over 20 years, someone that you've been with for 10 years, someone you've been with for three years. Um, if they just keep bringing out the worst in you, it's not going to better if you don't change. But if you have changed or you have been the one that's been dealing with this and they haven't changed, it takes two people to make something happen, to make a relationship happen. You can't carry the relationship on your own. And if this is you being the toxic one, they can't carry the relationship on their own. So I feel that someone is definitely making the choice towards a better future, towards a better life. And it may come at the expense of ending some type of um, some type of uh, you know something that you've been holding on to is basically you know you're getting to the point of being able to release that. Now, for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single, um, you were probably dealing with the person from your past, and this could be, a, like I said, a very toxic connection. However, I feel that someone's definitely sparked your interest. I feel that. Uh, even almost like they've ignited the desire to want to attain or want to do more. Um, and I feel that for a lot of you guys, they could represent almost like they inspire you in some shape, way or form. And this is you making the decision 
like being more decisive in what you're doing. There could have been lack of communication and it could have been lack of communication because they could have found out here with the Seven of Swords that you were dealing with them and that you were still dealing with an ex-partner or a person that was behind the scenes or that you were very secretive about. Um, and when that came to uh, to be known, I feel that there was some type of blockage. They could have blocked you. They could have walked away. They could have caught communication. But I definitely feel you, uh, like I said, very empowered. And it's like, I know this is what I want. And I'm going to cut out whatever it is that's lingering from the past because I'm walking towards this four, this four of wands here. This is what I want. This is the uh, basically the the desire, the four of wands. So it's stability. It is uh, uh, manifesting some type of celebratory type of energy or wanting to accomplish. And you will accomplish, like I said, for those of you guys that were still dealing with people from the past and the person you were dealing with came to know that, um, I feel that you will be successful in this connection. I feel that there's a purpose why this connection happened with the Four of Wands and the Temperance. Could be Spirit guiding you through this and um, preparing you. Preparing you for a better life. Preparing you for a better, a better partnership. Um, so again... You know, it's about you making choices and understanding that the decisions you make will affect your near future or coming future, Sagittarius. All right, let's see what the Oracle cards have to say in regards to this situation. What are the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to this situation? So we have, I focused on you instead of my grief. So this could be a representation of the relationship that you've been holding on to, Sagittarius, uh, especially those of you guys that are committed. Uh, it could represent that there was a lot of healing that needed to happen before this connection even came about, um, where dealing with the past or still meddling with people from the past or holding on to even holding on to a relationship from the past could have been because there was fears connected to that and instead of focusing on you and healing you were trying to uh, hold on to that relationship almost like I have something to fall on or because it's comfortable whatever the situation may be but this connection and I feel for a lot of you guys you may be dealing with a new connection um, they were just not ready uh, sorry you were probably not ready for that type of connection um and this could be your energy, like you were focusing on that past relationship instead of focusing on your healing to prepare you. I never used to look at you in that way. For some of you guys, it could have been a connection. The person that inspired you or has been inspiring you could be a person that perhaps you never seen on your radar. Or it could have been a person that you were aware, but you just never seen them as a love interest and something has transpired or will transpire that allows you to see them in a very different light i don't know how to let go exactly what i was feeling i feel a lot of you guys are still dealing with people from the past and the reason for that could be like i said because you're not wanting to heal or because you feel it's almost like that toxic um that toxic energy where you ask someone like why are you holding on to this relationship and they're like well because i know what they're capable of doing they've done it in the past and it's something that i overcame which means i can overcome again versus having to deal with someone new that may end up hurting me right and i have to go through that all over again so it's in reality there's a lot of toxic shit behind that because you're accepting the person i'm with right now could be treating me like shit, but you know what? I know them, and I've known them for a very long time, so I'd rather put up with their shit than put up with someone else's new shit, even though they've never done it to you, and you haven't even dealt with new people. Do you see what I'm saying? There is a lot of toxic things that are going on right there in your head to process to make you think that way. And what they're telling you is there's a need for you to let go of the past. There's a need for you, if you want to transform your life or if you want to change your past experiences, Sagittarius, you need to take self-responsibility. And the only way to do that is to say, okay, this is what I want when it comes to relationships. And I'm not going to settle for anything less than that. 
And anything less than that that comes, I will not entertain. Do you see what I'm saying? Or if what you're wanting is a relationship, but you also want to deal with other people, then you need to find a person that is okay with dealing with open relationships. Trust me, there's many out there. So again, it's about understanding our nature, not trying to suppress it. And at the same time, it's about understanding other people's natures and not trying to suppress that. If you're dealing with a constant cheater, you have two options. Either you prepare yourself to be cheated on many, many times, or you walk away from that because you love yourself more than the person you're willing to love and sacrifice for with all those hurts that has happened or will happen. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see what your spirit's direct message is for this, this connection here, this situation, spirit. What is the message that you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to this situation, please? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. We have 33. 33 is a very powerful number here. Uh, they're, they're talking about mastery here. They're talking about success. They're talking about certainty. There's conclusions that are coming that are going to be the solution to your problems. But you need to take action and understand that you have the power, you have the key to change your life completely, Sagittarius. But it's going to take for you to make those decisions and those choices. Do not expect other people to choose or make decisions for you because it's never going to be to the best of your interest. Make those changes. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.